So this video would be regarding the surface tension and the role of surfactant and I'll be using both Hindi and English for the purpose of this video. So now if we consider the respiratory tract and if I consider the alveolar epithelium, so this is the alveolar epithelium which consists of simple squamous cells. So over this we are having the fluid layer. Let us consider now if this is water. So water will exert surface tension. Abo kaise hoga? So if this, these are the water molecules, at the uppermost layer, superficial surface pe jo water molecules hain, they are under the attractive pull of the water molecules beneath them. So now these water molecules, or all the water molecules, let us consider the water molecule in the middle of this layer. This is under the attractive pull from all the four sides. But if we talk about the water molecule over the surface, then this is under a net attractive pull which is directed downwards. So this is say this water molecules in the superficial layer, these are trying to get to the deeper layers, which results in decreasing the area. As a result, kya hoga? surface tension se area small hoga, just ki se if we look at this capillary, uh, sorry, if we look at this uh, alveoli, then we'll see that the area, surface area of this alveoli is trying to de decrease. As a result, alveolar epithelium, alveoli are trying to collapse. So, agar hume, uh, so as a result, the air is trying to push out. So, if we want to prevent the collapsing of this alveoli, we have to exert certain pressure from outside. Now, this pressure which we have to exert from outside in order to prevent the alveoli from collapsing, this is called the collapsing pressure. So, how do we define collapsing pressure? pressure? It is the pressure to prevent the alveoli from collapsing, which we have to exert externally. Now, the reason for this collapsing, that is surface tension. Now, there is a diagram given in the Guyton. Now, if you look at this diagram, it states that in case we are having alveoli of two different sizes, a choti alveoli or a alveoli with a larger radius, hai. then it states that smaller alveoli tends to empty into the larger one. Now, what is the reason for this? I am going to explain to this and how do we prevent this? So, according to the Laplace law, it states that the collapsing pressure that is directly proportional to the surface tension and is inversely proportional to the radius. So, pressure, collapsing pressure is directly proportional to the surface tension and inversely proportional to the radius of the alveoli. So, I have considered the smaller alveoli with the radius of small r and the pressure in this is P1 while P2 pressure for the larger alveoli with the radius of capital R. So, according to Laplace law, if I apply it, then I see that the larger alveoli, in case we are considering the surface tension to be same, if suppose, then because the radius is large for the larger alveoli, therefore pressure decreases, there, that means that P2 is lesser than P1 and we know that air tends to flow from a higher pressure to a lower pressure, is the smaller alveoli, air in the smaller alveoli, that flows into the larger alveoli as a result smaller alveoli collapses. So now what will happen uh, if the uh, smaller alveoli collapses? If this actually we will do harm hoga in the body. So first kya hoga? perfusion ventilation ratio gets disturbed. Now how that is happening? If suppose this is the capillary, these two other capillaries. So blood flow to constant hai. For the same blood flow, the larger alveoli is having excessive amount of air, excessive amount of ventilation, while for the smaller alveoli, air is small, hai, ventilation is less, but perfusion is more. So, in smaller alveoli, mein perfusion blood flow waste will be wasted, while in larger alveoli, mein ventilation is wasted. So, perfusion ventilation ratio will disturb. Hoga. Second, what will happen if all the alveoli, all the smaller alveoli, the empty into the larger alveoli, as a result, the surface area would decrease. Surface area for the exchange would decrease. Second, kya hoga? Agar alveoli collapse karti hai, that means these are collapsing. The, they have the uh, tendency to suck in the fluid from the capillaries. As a result, edema may develop. Theek hai? So, ye sare disadvantages honge. Now, in order to prevent them, we are having surfactant. So, what is the role of surfactant? It decreases tension. So, now we'll talk something about the surfactant. The surfactant is secreted by the pneumocyte type Two. There are two types of cells in the alveolar epithelium. Pneumocyte type 1 whose 
प्राइम फंक्शन इज एक्सचेंज ऑफ दी गैसेज एंड न्यूमोसाइड टाइप टू विच सिक्रीट द सर्फेक्टेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स नाउ सर्फेक्टेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स स्टोर कैसे होंगे दे आर स्टोर्ड इन अ लैमिलर फॉर्म एंड उन्हें कहते हैं दीज आर स्टोर्ड एज लैमिनर बॉडीज बट वेन दीज आर सिक्रीटेड सपोज सेल पे अंदर लैमिनर बॉडीज की फॉर्म में है और जब वो वेन दे कम एट दिस सर्फिस दीज प्रोजेक्ट एज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्लिन नाउ I have uh, drawn a surfactant molecule just for the purpose of understanding. This is not the actual structure. So, uh, a famous example of the surfactant molecule is dipalmitoyl phosphatidyl choline. Now, it is having a phosphate group which is hydrophilic moiety. Two uh, palmitoyl component hai, jo ki fatty acid hota hai, hydrophobic hai, and then we are having certain apo proteins A, B, C, and D. These are the apo proteins which are attached. Choline hai and IgA antibodies attached. Now we know that we have already talked about that surfactant molecule that reduces the surface tension. How it reduces? So suppose a water molecule ki layer hai, or its ke under a surfactant molecule insert ho gaya. So this is the hydrophobic part we have already discussed, and this is the hydrophilic part, right? So even if net attractive, let's suppose net attractive force होगी इस पे नीचे की तरफ downward directed तो क्या ये अंदर जाएगा answer is no why because this part is the hydrophobic part which prevents it from going deeper as a, so as a result the surfactant molecule that is capable enough to reduce the surface tension now what are the other functions of the surfactant molecule सबसे पहला apoprotein A और apoprotein D they act as opsonins As a result, macrophages, alveolar macrophages, which are also called as the dust cells, उनको help करेंगे to phagocytose. Now, apoprotein B and C, these help in spreading of the surfactant over the entire alveolar surface. IgA के immunological functions हैं. Now, what are the effects of surfactant? पहला, we've already seen surface tension reduce करेगा, जिसकी वजह से collapsing ability reduce हो जाएगी. कैसे surface tension reduce करेगा? Pressure reduce होगा, collapsing. एबिलिटी कम हो जाएगी एज एट वॉट वी कैन ऑल्सो से इज दैट चांसेस ऑफ एटीलेक्टेस विच इज द लंग कोलैप्स दैट डिक्रीजेज ऑल्सो लंग कंप्लायंस इंक्रीजेज नो वॉट इज कंप्लायंस इट इज द डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी ऑफ द लंग अ मेजर ऑफ डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी एंड देर फोर रिड्यूस द वर्क ऑफ ब्रीदिंग इजी होगा लंग को एक्सपैंड करना तो रेस्पिरेटरी मसल्स इंस्पिरेटरी मसल्स का वर्क लोड कम हो जाएगा और हेल्प्स अ रोल इन कीपिंग द एलवेलाइ ड्राई कैसे वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अगर एलवेला कोलैप्स कर रहा होगा देन इट हैज चांसेस दैट फ्लूड फ्रॉम द कैपिलरी दीज फिल अप इन द एलवेलर स्पेसेस और दैट दिस फिलिंग ऑफ द एलवेला और एडिमा जो होता है दैट इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ द सर्फेक्ट टेंट एक और है इट स्टेबलाइजेज द साइज ऑफ द एलवेलाय हाउ डज इट स्टेबलाइज द साइज ऑफ द एलवेलाय और द सेम डायग्राम विच वी वर टॉकिंग Which is there in the guidance. So I am going to explain now. So surfactant, let amount of surfactant be same. Suppose same surfactant, आया हमारे पास. So क्या होगा? यहाँ पर surface area कम है, तो इसका मतलब thicker layer spread होगी, ज़्यादा surfactant यहाँ पर होगा. और उसी same amount of surfactant में, यहाँ पर surface area ज़्यादा है, तो therefore thin layer of surfactant of molecules होगा. यहाँ पर surface tension as compared to the smaller alveolus ज़्यादा होगा. ठीक है, so smaller alveoli में देखें P1 के केस में, so if we see the pressure, if we see for the smaller alveoli, then surface tension reduces much more as than in as that in larger alveoli. तो surface tension ज़्यादा कम होगा, radius पहले ही कम था, overall pressure जो है, वो equal हो जाता है, जिसकी वजह से air does not flow from the smaller alveoli into the larger. As a result, smaller alveoli does not collapse. तो इसीलिए it helps in the stabilizing It helps in stabilizing the size of the alveoli. And what is the clinical for surfactant? The respiratory distress syndrome, जो कि common किस में है premature infants में normally जो surfactant है वो body में produce होता है sixth या seventh week of pregnancy में अगर intrauterine life में अगर premature baby हो गया तो surfactant is not produced enough and this disease can be also fatal if not treated early. So this was all about surfactant and if you like my work, please do like it.